What's going on everybody, it's Indikuba, and I'm back with some major Dragon Ball Universe information. So today there's been a new scan that's been released, and it actually um, explains three major things. So the first one that I want to note on the top left corner is pretty much how the characters, the villains, become a lot more, you know, sinister. And it shows with Toa's magic, she makes arch enemies that much more darker and evil. So apparently, of course, as we already knew, Toa is the person who's able to um, alter the universe, or the Dragon Ball universe to be spe uh, specific, to make the villains a lot more eviler than they are already. And as you see right here, it shows a much darker Frieza appears. He seems to be much stronger than the regular storylines Frieza. So this power that she's using to make them more evil apparently enhances their strength. So I'm trying to figure out, like, we already know, like, Goku's super strong, he can take out Cell, um, and, well, no, he can't take out Cell, he can take out Frieza. Gohan was stronger than Cell, but it might not be enough to take him out this time around. And, like, Kid Buu, they struggle to beat him. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how this all plays out, because it's a, I honestly think this is a great twist to the, um, to the Dragon Ball storyline. To know that the enemies that, you know, they fought so hard are now even stronger, and how they will overcome them. So that's actually going to be something definitely to look forward to. Now, if we look at the bottom left corner, we will see that we finally have official confirmation of a new GT character. So Super 17 has now been confirmed for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, of course with his trademark ultimate attack, Shocking Death Ball. It shows right here, here comes a new challenger. This world's Android 17 and Hell's Android 17 fuses to become Super 17. As both Android 17's fuses into one, their ability overwhelms all that he faces. So that's awesome to see that Super 17 has now been confirmed. Uh, personally, I always like Super 17 as a character. I know people are not that fond of GT, but hey, he was an awesome character. I love the concept. He was super strong. And it's awesome to see him now in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I actually can't wait to see if there's going to be even more GT characters. More than likely there will be, but nonetheless, we have confirmation of Super 17, so I'm happy for right now. Now, if we look at the top right corner, we will see, you know, more information on Toa. Um, a dark magic pulls on the threads of the Dragon Ball universe to make it much more eviler. Can a devilish smile really change the course of the universe? And apparently it can, because you saw what she did with Frieza, Cell, and Kid Buu. And then, of course, right here we see a picture of Super Saiyan 4 Goku in all of his HD glory, as well as the future warrior. But, if you guys actually pay attention to the biggest thing, like, it's very small, but holds extremely huge information, a confirmation. The, I, I've, been, I've been telling you guys this, man, and now we have confirmation. God Goku has officially been confirmed for Dragon Ball's universe. If you look closely, that is his in-game model in Dragon Ball's universe. Thank you, God. So now I can finally do my dream battle. Which one is stronger, God Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Goku? I mean, I'm leaning towards the God Goku side because obviously, you know, like canon and all that stuff. But at the same time, like they have not canon characters in the game, and we know how strong Super Saiyan 4 Goku is. I can't wait to do this dream battle. And then, like at the very bottom, it shows like the, um, that Jocko character. Um, but nonetheless, guys, what do you guys think about all this information? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But nonetheless, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Q underscore Nakuba. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.